What's going on guys? So I haven't made a video in what seems like forever. I don't even know, like a year or something. I don't know if it's been that long, but so I've just um me and my baby's mother ended up splitting up, so we uh it's just been a crazy year, so I haven't been able to focus on the YouTube channel. But that shit's gonna stop right now. Cause I have an update video for my last time you saw this rig. This is my uh, Bit Phoenix Prodigy M. It had something like this in it. It's a modded um, Corsair H80i, and I actually further modded it. I put in. Well, right now I'm rocking this uh, GTX 780 with a hydrocopper water block on it. I actually put that in the loop, and it worked okay. The water pressure was terrible, but I was still getting temperatures around 50 degrees at max in gaming and stuff, which isn't which isn't good for water cooling, but it's not bad. Like I was getting, I was playing just fine, and all I, I just kept in one 120 radiator too, so it wasn't bad. So it is possible if you're wondering that if you can add a water block to the loop. So keep that in mind. But I decided to go all out for this build and I, I got rid of this, which is still leaking water apparently. <laughs> but uh, I decided to do a real like water cooling build. And I actually went with uh, acrylic tubing this time because that's like all the rage in the water cooling world now. And uh, I'm actually going to grab the camera and show you guys like a closer up look because I got this whole loop set up. I'm actually, during this video I'm probably going to fill it. I got um, some Mayhem's uh, green pastel and liquid and I'm going to fill it up, leak test it and just show you guys what's going on, what I've been up to the past year. Alright, hold on, let me grab the camera. Alright guys, so here we go. And here's the uh, pastel green that I was talking about. I love the color of this stuff, man. I can't wait to put it in. Alright, I want to start out by saying this reservoir is pretty ugly and it's gonna go. <laughs> it's just one that I had laying around and I didn't want to reuse that, uh, the one I had in my last video. And uh, if you haven't seen my the modded Corsair HADI video that I was talking about, I'll put a link in the description for it because uh, it's a pretty interesting video if you want to check it out. And uh, I had a big like bay reservoir and it was kind of nasty and I just didn't want to reuse it. But I did have this, so I'm, I'm actually getting a Bits Power uh, tube reservoir. I have it on order right now, and I just wanted to make this video, so I didn't feel like waiting. <laughs> But with that being said, let's take a further look into this thing. So well, I'll just explain the loop right now. I put, um, there, my shadow keeps fucking up the shot. I put a draining system in it, which I feel is pretty important in an acrylic water cooling type build. Because it's, it's hard to drain your loop when you can't bend the tubes around and, and stuff so I put this in and sorry about my voice I got like a nasty cold right now so I sound more retarded than I usually do <laughs> but alright here's the pump it's an EK 2.2 like, little pump it's good enough for this mini or micro ATX type build it's more it's it's it works fine for it and uh, we, all right we'll start the pump here's the drainage system turn that and you can I don't know you guys probably know what the fucking drainage system is I like putting it right after the outflow of the pump just because it's flows right right out you know you know what I'm saying so then it goes up into this little 90 degree bend and then a straight tube to the end of the uh, this is an XSPC uh, what is it Rasa is that what it Rasa block I think that's what it's called and then the out this is the only actual yeah, let me get the shadow out of the way. I gotta figure out my lighting in this. <laughs> this is the only actual bend I have in the entire system. Because I, I like doing straight runs with the acrylic, but bending can be fun. It's just, I really only needed one 90 degree right here, small one. And that leads out to the water the uh, GPU water block. I'm sorry if this is shaky. 
I'm doing this by hand right now. Alright, so it leads to the uh, GTX 780 hydrocopper water block and then the out leads to the, uh, I only put a dual 120, so 240 millimeter, uh, millimeter radiator. It's the uh, cross flow, fuck, I can't remember the name. It has, it's the one where it has a port on each side. Which worked, which worked out really good for this type of build. So right here I have a um, 90 degree bits power fitting leading into the radiator and then the uh, out port of the radiator is. Let's see if I can get a view, you could see it back there. And then that leads back to the, the res. So all in all, down here into the pump, out to the CPU water block, out to the GPU water block, out to the ra uh, the radiator, and then out back to the reservoir. And uh, I think people say you should, I should probably have another 120 millimeter radiator because I'm using a CPU and a GPU, but for this type of build, uh, I don't know, it would have been way too cramped. And I mean, like I was saying before, I was getting decent temps with one 120 radiator. So I think I'll be fine with just the dual 120. If I'm not, I can always add one later, so no worries. All right, next up is I'm going to be adding better cables. I think I'm gonna give Lutro Customs a try, and I'll have another video about that, because my cabling is, I have it tucked away decently, I guess, but I definitely want some green and black cables to go with the green and black theme, so I'll probably have a video about that coming out soon. All right, so that's the uh, the rundown of my system. I got a little green paint right there. I'm probably gonna paint it a little more too to go with the theme, but. All right, I'm gonna fill this thing up and uh, I'll show you guys the finished product. Oh, here's my, uh, I just got two fittings left. And uh, here, let me tell you about the fittings actually real quick. So I went with Bits Power and Borrow. I don't know if you've heard of them. Borrow is pretty much Bits Power fittings before Bits Power puts their logo on it and charges double. <laughs> they're Borrow fittings, which are like the Chinese version, but they're the same thing. <laughs> same quality, just better price. And they're really good quality. If you're wondering, go on eBay. I forget the seller. I think it's PC Coolings is the name of the seller. He sells a bunch of these. Order over $100 worth and you get free shipping on it. And it's like you can get really good deals. That's what I did. But I went with the uh, actual like name brand from uh, Performance PCS on the, uh, the drainage system. And just certain, like, uh, certain fittings I went with the actual thing. But other ones I just I went with this, this guy, PC Coolings, his borrow fittings. Because I, uh, I saved a lot of money. And they work great. So... All right, let's let's see the finished product. Okay, guys, so it's a day later. I've leak tested it a full 24 hours, which is some people say you should do it more than that, but I haven't seen any signs of leaks, and I'm pretty confident in the build. So, but uh, the temperatures are pretty damn good. I mean, you can see my. Am I the only one that still uses these Windows gadgets? <laughs> You can see it's 25 degrees Celsius on the GPU, around 27, 26, 28 on the CPU. That's how idle. At gaming, I've been seeing temperatures at max around, I think max I saw 38 on the GPU. And around the same for the CPU. So it's been, it's been running pretty damn good. I don't know if I'm gonna, I might add another radiator, another 120, but as of right now, I'm happy with it. So, alright, let's take a closer look at inside the build and I as you can probably tell I changed things up a little bit I'll tell you about that alright so as you can see I changed the position of the reservoir I just thought it looked pretty awful kinda like just chilling up here like dangling in between it was pretty much just suspended in air in between two acrylic tubes it didn't look right to me so I decided to create another 90 degree bend and uh, luckily I, got, I messed up a couple times it's kinda I've been doing all my bends by just freehand 
I don't have any of the, like those tool kits or anything. And I was on my last piece of tube because I messed up this bend twice. <laughs> but I finally got it. It's a decent bend. Could be better, but it, it's not bad. I think it looks okay. And because um, this tubing is actually, like I was talking about before, I ordered the fittings and also the tubing from this guy, PC Coolings on eBay. And his fittings are, and his tubing is 14 millimeter outer diameter, which is a little bit, it's thicker than the normal like crystal links and stuff that goes with like bits power fittings. So it was, it took a little longer to bend, but it, it worked out all right. And I just, I think it looks so much better with the res down here. It looks just a lot cleaner and uh, I'm, I'm happy I switched it up, definitely. The leak test went good. I I was concerned about this area up here because there's such a tight fit in between the fan and this fitting that I'm not sure I tightened it all the way right here. I wasn't sure, but I kept a close watch on it and there's no sign of le any leakage at all, so that's fine. Other than that, this build is pretty much complete. I'm Like I said, I'm going to redo the cables because it's ugly, like especially this. Oh, I'm gonna get some nice Lutro Customs, green and black. I'll make a video of me sleep. I think I'm gonna sleep it myself. I don't think I'm going to get extensions or anything. But I might put like a little piece, like acrylic down here to cover these wires that run across. And uh, like paint it black and have a little spot to hide the cables. Other than that, I might do some more painting because I have like that little line painted here. I have the Bits, the Bits Power logo. Or Bits Power, the Bits Phoenix logo painted. And uh, I might do some more. Other than that, I want to get like two more sticks of uh, this G Skill RAM. This is the uh, G Skill Z, the one that's clocked at like 2400. And then I want to update my processor as well. Right now I have the uh, i5 2500K. It has a nice overclock on it. It's, on, it's overclocked from 3.5 to like 4.8, which is pretty good. And it's decent. I just want a. Uh, I'm probably going to get the 3770, the i7 3770K. Just uh I want the I want the i7 for video editing and stuff like that. But for now just for gaming and stuff, the i5 runs it runs great. But other than that, that's my build, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it if you liked it. If you want to subscribe, that helps me out too. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video. I think I'm going to be doing some more gaming commentary pretty soon there's a lot of nice games i gotta i gotta catch up man i haven't been playing i miss doing it all right guys i'll talk to you soon peace